Hey friends, this is Brian with the Kentucky Woodsman. Sitting around today on this rainy day and uh, making a few videos on some things that have been on my mind. And uh, today on this video, what I wanted to show you is uh, what you can do with some old sawdust when you're done cutting up some things or making something. Uh, I've got a little plan here, uh, how you can use it to warm or cook on or whatever you want to do. So stick with me and I'll show you my planes here. Okay, so for this, what you need is you need to get you something like a tomato juice can or something uh, about that size, you know. Uh, and what you want to do, we're going to fill this full of sawdust is what we're going to do, is you want to take your knife or uh, drill bit, whatever, and you want to make about a, an inch size, three quarter inch size hole, something like that. And uh, after you make the hole, then uh, you just set that aside, okay. And then I get some, uh, just like PVC pipe, something like that, you know, and uh, cut it off. What is it? Probably about 10 inches, a foot, something like that. And uh, what you want to do is you want to round the end of that just so it fits on a round of another piece. Okay, like that. And then you want to cut you another piece, probably about 4 inches. Okay, and we're going to use these. What we're going to do is... After you poke your hole in here, you're going to take this pipe right here and you're going to slide it right into the center of it, right through the hole, right into the center. Okay? And then you're going to take this pipe with the little dip on it and you're going to take it and set it all the way down into the bottom, dead center, right over the top of this one. Okay? So what it's going to look like down in there is it's going to look like this and then in the center. I'm going to slip this in back inside here and just kind of show you what it looks like. So you have to slide that right in. And then this one right here goes right in the top, like so. And then what you want to do is you want to take, set this down here, and take your sawdust, and you just dump it in there. Pack it. Pack it right around. And pack it in there tight, folks. Don't, uh, if you don't, it'll cave in. The tighter you get it, the, the better it'll be when you pull this stuff out. So, And then when you're done, what you want to do is just slip this out, just wiggle it, slide it right out. You're going to have a little bit fall in there. So don't worry about it. I mean, we'll tip it over and get it out. And then slide this one here right out. And when you look down through the top, you'll be able to see light coming from this little hole down here once you look down through the top. So that's how you know you've got a, a direct shot straight on through, okay? So let's go ahead and take this, and uh, we'll go ahead and light it up, and I'll show you what it looks like, okay? And then what I'll do once it gets catch, uh, caught on here, I'm just going to stuff it on inside there. And then we'll let that go ahead and catch and get our other stuff going. So like I do on all my knives on this little knife here, I've got the edge. It's a little bit more than a 90 degree angle and a little bit more sharp on there. So anyway, let's see what we get here. Boy, does that burn. Okay, so she's going, folks. 
Okay, so it's true to life. Uh, no matter what side of the fire you sit on, the smoke is going to follow you. So uh, it's blowing this way. So what you want to do is we want to flip it around, okay? And we want the air draft to go into wherever direction the, the wind's blowing. So I'm going to turn it this way because the wind's going that way. And uh, once it gets started, it's going to create an updraft and you're going to get a, a nice flame going. So let's let it burn for just a little while here. See, it's burning pretty good down in there. And what that's going to do is it's going to start burning more and more. See how it's getting black around that hole? And pretty soon we're going to see a fire coming up out of that. Okay, guys, we're a half hour in, and you can see what's going on in there. It's getting furious now. So, uh, you can see how it's just turning red as anything and I mean the heat that's coming off this thing is really good you can you could definitely cook with that so uh, that'll be the last time I show it I mean a half hour right there you know what are you looking at uh, got a good three quarters of it that's turned black not all that amount is red inside so a half hour in you know like I said before I, I burned it for somewhere right around an hour I guess so maybe a little under and uh, of course it was throwing a flame on that I don't know if it was a little different wood but uh, definitely good enough to where you could cook on it I think if I was going to cook on it though what I would do is I would probably notch out these sides along the edge of the can and just have about three or four contact points and that way it could let out you know the heat around the the pan there so uh, that's a little sawdust cooker idea, and I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate you, and uh, thank you so much for subscribing. My subscribers have got up uh, pretty good now, so uh, and, uh, just it. enjoy seeing you, enjoy sharing the videos with you too. So uh, anyway, click like and uh, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, share my videos if you think they're good enough. So, And uh, two, I can't wait to look at your sites too. I've had a good time. With a lot of you folks who have subscribed to me watching your videos and learning from you and uh you know there's a great community out there and uh, i'm glad to be part of it so god bless you all and thank you for joining me here at the kentucky woodsman